Hi, thank you for tuning into my channel. In this playlist, I will be sharing podcasts on a regular basis that will let you experience the Feldenkrais method via awareness through movement lessons. In the lessons, I will talk you through all the steps. You listen and do at the same time. The lessons are designed to improve ability and reduce effort in movement. The speed of an exercise should always be adjusted to your breathing rhythm. For the lesson, find a place where you can lie down comfortably and wear clothing that doesn't interfere with your movements and breathing. Also, take a rest whenever you want to. There will be plenty of rests in the lesson, but if you need more, please do. The lessons have been recorded live while teaching a class. This lesson is called Explore Clarifying Your Shoulder Blades. And uh, yeah, I, I really enjoyed it. Sometimes it was a bit frustrating, but most of the time it was really, I really liked it. And what I want to give you for this lesson also is give yourself permission to feel unclear in the process of clarifying something. It's fine to be unclear. I mean, uh, and we start in sitting and maybe with one hand, feel your shoulder blade. Just pick the easiest shoulder blade and feel it and touch it somewhere. If you can. Now it's a bit hard, maybe. Wait, let's see. How am I doing this? Yes. Okay, you take the opposite shoulder blade. Yes. <laughs> so with one hand, you take the opposite shoulder blade. And then you have like the, the upper ridge that goes from the shoulder almost to the neck. And then from there, there is this long ridge, like edge all the way down, also to a point again. And then you probably have to change over your hands to feel it. And this border, this inner border, that's kind of like looking at the spine, let's say, that's what we will be focusing on today. But we will finish the whole blade by going also to the other edge that's more on the outside of your of your like more close to your arms all the way up so it's like a triangle right in a way but we will work from the inner top and then the whole line down to the point below And I will often uh, refer to three places. So that the top point and then the middle part of the edge and the, and the point, the bottom point. Uh, that said, let's all stand up for a little bit. And notice what it's like to stand today and what you are aware of. And don't change anything, just notice. And where is your focus? Like where are you looking with your eyes? Also when you have them closed. And now walk around a little bit with eyes open. <laughs> And now sense how it is. How are you walking? What are you aware of as you walk? And what is your sensation? And what's your sensation of your shoulder blades? And let go of it and come lie on your back. And 
Yes, if you want me to be able to see what you're doing, you have to make sure I can, and otherwise it's fine. It's not that big of a movement, but... And as you're lying on your back, you have your arms down alongside you, like close to your hips, and the palms are toward the floor. And the legs are long. And as you're resting like this or lying on the floor like this, notice the feedback that you get from the floor. Like what do you sense? Which parts are touching the floor? Is there a difference between your two sides? And how are you sensing the area of your shoulder blades? The places where they connect to the floor? Or are you noticing the places that are not connecting to the floor? And also along the length of your spine, where is it touching the floor and where is it not? And pay attention to your breath. Notice the shapes of your breath when you inhale and the shape of your breath when you exhale. And what's the rhythm of your breathing? Now bend your knees and place your feet hip width apart or in a comfortable distance, so not, uh, not next to each other. And very easily and lazily begin to take the lower back a little bit away from the floor. So tilt your pelvis a little bit, so you arch your lower back and then you let go again. And you repeat this a few times. So arch your lower back a little bit away from the floor. And let go of it. And do the least possible. So it feels like oiling. And notice how far up the spine can you feel this arch. Is it traveling upwards at all? And where does it stop? And what happens when you let go of the arch? What do you notice then? And is that only in the lower back or is it going further up your spine? And let go of this. We will come back to this. Keep your knees bent and your feet standing. And now do a few movements in the other direction. So bring your lower back a little bit closer to the floor. And you tilt your pelvis in the other way. And then you let go of this. And repeat this a few times. And every time you repeat, notice how you do it. Um, let go of this, keep your knees bent and your feet standing and now combine these movements. So once your lower back is coming a little bit away from the floor and then it goes back to neutral and then it comes a bit closer to the floor or it even touches the floor. And then you go, so you go from arching to neutral, to rounding a little bit. And your pelvis is initiating this. And how does it travel through the rest of you today? Does it go in between your shoulder blades? Or maybe all the way up to your neck? Maybe you feel some resonance in your head, very small, or maybe not. Just notice. 
You don't have to make it happen. And slowly let go of this movement and have your legs long again and rest. Now bend your knees and stand your feet again, like we did before. Your arms are still down alongside you with the palms toward the floor. And you're lying on your back. And now we begin with some attention to the middle border of this, of the shoulder blade, you know, like the one that we've, we just felt. So it's the middle of this border of the shoulder, of both shoulder blades. And Bring them a little bit closer together and then release them and repeat this a few times. So you bring both middle, middle part of the borders of your shoulder blades a little bit closer together and therefore also closer to the spine and then you release them. And look for that movement. Is it possible to find the movement of bringing the inner borders the middle of the inner borders, the shoulder blades closer together. And you release it again. And you might notice that the chest has to lift a little bit to make it possible. And let it happen. Let the chest lift a little bit if it wants to. And now pause. Keep your knees bent and your feet standing and your arms in the same position. And now bring your attention to the lower point of this border, so the point down, the lower point of the triangle on the inside. And think of bringing this area closer together on both sides and release it. So the bottom point of the shoulder blades, you try to bring them a little bit closer together and then you release them again. And repeat this. And look each time how to make it more simple. And maybe it's different on both sides. That's fine. Or maybe one initiates and the other one follows. Maybe you think you feel it's the same movement as moving the, the middle of that inner edge towards each other. And let go of this movement. Stay in the same position. And now bring your attention to the upper tip of this inner edge of your shoulder blade and bring them closer together and let go. And repeat this a few times. And notice what happens in your neck as you do this. In the upper part of your chest and the distance of your chin to your chest. And slowly let go, lengthen your legs. And notice what you are aware of now. Bend your knees again and stand your feet. And your arms are still down alongside you 
but now change over so the palms are facing the ceiling. And notice how you do this. Are you doing this from your shoulder blades? Or are you doing this from your lower arms? If you're unclear, try it a few times and notice how you do it. It doesn't matter how you do it. It's just interesting to know. And end with your palms toward the ceiling. And now in this position, start to bring the lower edge, like the tip of the, the bottom tip of the shoulder blade. Try to bring them a little bit closer together and then release it. And repeat this a few times with your hands and your arms in this position. And notice how it's different doing it with the palms up. And if you're unclear, you can always switch with your palms to the floor and then do it like this. So you start with the lower edge of the shoulder blade. And notice if it's any different. Pause. Keep your hands, the palms of your hands toward the ceiling. Now think of the middle of this inner edge of your shoulder blades and bring them closer together and release. And repeat this. And when you direct your attention to, the, to this different place, how does this affect your chest and your spine differently? So now it's the middle section of this inner edge. And all the time try to keep the movement very comfortable, very nice to explore. And also when it gets tiring and I don't give a pause, pause anytime you want. Now pause. And I'll bring the, the top tip of the inner edge of the shoulder blades closer together. And then release them again. The palms of the hands are still upward. And sense what happens to your neck, your chin, and your sternum. And let go of this movement and rest with your legs long or your legs bent, whatever you prefer, whatever is comfortable. And notice how you're resting on the floor. What's the rhythm of your breathing? And what's the shape when you breathe in? And what's your shape when you breathe out? Bend your knees and stand your feet again. And now bring your arms out to the side with the palms facing the ceiling. So you make a kind of T. Yeah, they don't have to be like straight, straight, but somehow at shoulder height on the floor, out to the side. With the palms facing the ceiling. And now in this position, begin to bring the bottom edge or tip of the shoulder blades closer together 
and also then closer to the spine. And then release and repeat this. And how does this position change what happens? So the lower edge of the inner ridge of the shoulder blades. And how does this change? The position of the arms change what happens. And pause. Stay in this position. And then start to move the middle part of this inner edge of the shoulder blades closer toward the spine and release them. And repeat this. And what do you do in your chest to make this easier? And let go of this movement. And now we move to the upper tip of the inside edge of the shoulder blade. And you start to slowly move them closer towards the spine. And then release them. And repeat this. And is it different when I ask you to bring the, the parts of the inner edges of the shoulder blades closer toward the spine than when I ask you to bring them closer together? And let go of the movement. Lower your arms however you want them, and your legs, and rest. And notice how you're breathing. And if something has changed. Now bend your knees again. And this time, bring your arms like in a V-shape overhead, but in a comfortable way, on the floor. And they can be, they don't have to be straight at all, but they're just in a V on the floor, but they reach with the fingertips to the wall behind, behind your head. And of course the palms are facing the ceiling, sorry. And have them in a way that you can have them rest there. So if it's like a wider V or almost a T shape, it doesn't matter. As long as they're more upward. And leave them in this position. And now start to take the lower point of your shoulder blade, both of them, closer toward the spine. And then release them. And repeat this. And notice what changes as you have your arms like this. And then when you let go of the movement, what let yeah, what what lets go when you release the action? Now, pause, stay in this position, and I start to bring the middle edge, the middle section of the inner edge of your shoulder blades closer together and release them. And repeat this a few times. And notice how you do this. Mm -hmm. 
let go of this. And now move the top, the top part of the inner edge, the top point of the inner edges of your shoulder blades closer together and release them. And repeat it a few times. And how this has effect on your neck, on your chin, on your chest. Let go. Bring your arms down slowly alongside you. Your arms and your legs long. And rest. And what is changing in the way you are contacting the floor now? Bend your knees and have your arms alongside you. So bend your knees and stand your feet. Your arms are alongside you. Have the palms, uh, <laughs> the palms toward the floor. Sorry. And a few times just bring the lower, the lower points of the shoulder blades a little bit closer together and release them. And notice if this has changed. And then a few times the middle part of the inner edges of the shoulder blades a little bit closer together. Notice if this has changed. And then the top point of the inner edge, edges of the shoulder blades a few times closer together and then release. And notice if and how this has changed since the beginning. Let go. And now stay in this position and choose the easiest, the easiest for you to find. So like maybe it's the, the, bottom, to, to, the bottom point or the middle point or the, the high point, the top point. And then bring these parts closer together and closer to the spine. Stay in this position where you actually bring them together. And then start tilting the pelvis again. So you arch your lower back a little bit and then you round it. As you keep this position of one part of the shoulder blades closer together. And you can help tilting your pelvis by pushing with your feet into the floor. So your pelvis just rolls. It just rolls a little bit from one end to the other. And these, these two points on the inner edges of your shoulder blade, you keep them together. And notice if you can still feel this movement of the tilting of the pelvis going ripple through your spine, or if it stops somewhere. And then pick another point. So pick... Uh, I don't know which one you pick, but then pick one of one of the three other ones and then bring these parts closer together. Hold it. And again, move your pelvis from rounding to arching. And notice how far up your spine you can feel this as you are holding one point of the inner edges of your shoulder blades closer together. So you arch your lower back a bit and you round it a bit, a little bit. And then you take the third point. You bring these parts closer together, keep them there. And again, tilt the pelvis one direction and then the other direction. And notice how far up can you feel this rocking. 
Do you feel it all the way somewhere in your head, maybe? Or stop somewhere where you were kind of holding your shoulder blades? Just notice. And let go of this action and just lengthen your legs and notice how you're resting and notice what you notice. And now Bring your arms out to the side in a T. Bend your knees. Have your palms, of, uh, your palms to the ceiling. And again. So your legs are bent. Your knees are bent. Your feet are standing. Sorry. And again. But pick one point of the inner edge of your shoulder blades, like the middle, the top or the bottom. And then bring... They have to be the same, though. You can't do a middle and a bottom or a top and a bottom, but it's like two middles, two bottoms or two tops. Bring them together, closer together. Keep them there. And very lightly, see if you can make this rocking of the pelvis really light. And what could you do to make it travel all the way to your head with your arms out to the sides like this? And once you've done it a few times with one place, then pick another place and go through all the three points that we've been working on so far. And you kind of, you bring them together very clearly and then you hold them and then you start to rock your pelvis up and down. And then you let go. And then you pick the third point. Bring these parts of the shoulder blades closer together. Keep it there. And again, start to rock your pelvis up and down. And notice if you can make it travel all the way to your head. And let go. Have your arms down alongside you, legs long, and notice your breathing. Is there anywhere else in your chest that has movement now, that didn't have it before? Now, one more time, bend your knees. Have your arms wherever you want them. And return to this rocking of the pelvis. So rocking of the pelvis, tilting it one way and the other way. And how does this move through you now? Does it move more clearly? Or maybe further up your spine? Or it has a different quality? Or something else? And let go of it. And slowly roll to your side. Come to sitting. And then slowly to standing. And if you don't want to come to standing, it's also fine. But for the ones that want to, just stand and notice if you're looking somewhere different, just by standing. And then walk a little bit. And what stands out? What are you aware of now? And this is the end of the lesson. Thanks for joining.